Hello and welcome to the first ever Ties Vlog. I am excited for this channel. I'll tell you what, th this channel is created specifically with the intent of giving you digestible information so that you can learn and to also give a chronologue of things that are going on in my life. So the first video that I'm doing here is going to be a sound test. Uh, because I am just starting this. I'm using new recording software. Um, I'm making a new YouTube and I'm excited to share that with you. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, clearly, I'm doing a sound test right now. I'm testing the uh, external mic on this laptop. Pretty simple way of recording. Um, as well as obviously the recording uh, system that I have. Um, which is screencast Omatic. I am not paid by them, but I'm giving them a shout out because, hey, it's free for up to 15 minutes, which is all I need anyway to make nice digestible information for you. So go ahead and check them out, screencast-o-matic.com forward slash screen underscore recorder. Sounds, sounds like an advertisement. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Uh, I made my first, or my second <laughs> YouTube channel, um, but my first vlog YouTube channel. Very excited for that. Um, and then we're gonna just go ahead and dive into kind of a little bit about what I've done here. Really all that I've done is I created a new email under a Gmail account, and then I created some channel art and took a picture off my phone. This is viable to a liable excuse me to change uh definitely because that was literally the only picture of myself i had on my phone not one for selfies so i'll go i'll have to go get an image taken maybe have my my wife help me out with that all right so took a picture off my phone popped it in there um, and then I needed to create some channel art, but using my phone was not a great uh, medium for that so i just popped open um powerpoint you can use word or uh, an online program or something like that um, and then I also did use an online program, so let's see here. I just went ahead and I did several searches, but we're searching for Channel Art Maker. So yeah, I checked out Banner Snack, Cost Money, Canva, not very accurate for banner sizes for YouTube. Uh, Adobe Spark is great, but um, you get a free trial um, and I'm sure that it's an amazing program because it's Adobe. Uh, but yeah, I, I uh, decided not to do that. Um, I wanted to find something online, something definitely accessible to anybody. Um, there's no putting in your credit card and then hoping they don't charge you a month later or whatever. So uh, I found this website and I think it's absolutely great when it comes to making banner art for, um, or what do they call it? Channel art for the banner on your your YouTube. So I went into here. Go ahead and click get started. Nope, no reason to translate. It is in English. <laughs> so uh, this is a two fifty a twenty twenty five sixty pixel by fourteen forty pixel um, space in here, or at least. Technically, it is. Uh, and I just went ahead and kind of put in what I thought would be good for my vlog. So I found a font. Okay. And I found that font. So type in free fonts. Right. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of them. I used font space. It's really easy to download font. Uh, and to use that font. So uh, you just go ahead and say, okay, I want Painter. So I'm gonna download that. And then you click on the zip, and then you click install, and that's it. In fact, I'll just do it. So, oh yeah, so you wanna find the, there we go. You want to find the, the, the what is this called the file <laughs> that has this there's a tiny little a in the left hand corner if you can't see that maybe you need reading glasses <laughs> and then it's like a piece of paper with the top right hand corner the corner of it is just like folded over and it is landscape style so you go ahead and click on that or double click whatever a sec here click install 
mean, congratulations, you now have this font. But let's say that you had PowerPoint already open and you want to do something with that font, you're going to have to close that program and reopen it in order for that, that font to be available. So obviously, make sure you save. So what I did was first I went to PowerPoint, like I said, and I collected, I, I got a font that I liked here, actually two fonts because for some reason the original font didn't have the, yes, <laughs> apostrophe. Um, I found the YouTube uh, button, whatever, the logo, and then uh, something that said vlog, and then I found a camera lens, so I put that over it, and then I found something that says like, comment, subscribe, share, because you obviously want to encourage people to do that. Then I made it all in a line, and if you take all your little pieces, right, so let's look over here. If you take all your little pieces, and you, you, you click on the, uh, the left button on your mouse, and select all that, all the pieces that you want, then right click within there and go to group, click group. Now it's one piece. If it's font, then you, tr and you try and change the, this, see what happens to the font. It doesn't change equal to everything else, right? Control Z to go back. So what you want to do then is save as picture, right? So I have one here. You click save and then you can insert pictures up here. This one, right? There. So there it is as a picture. Now I can change the size if I want and the font will stay the same as the images. So we're at seven minutes out of 15. So then what I did was I went to Fotor, uh, that is Fotor.com. Once again, not getting paid for this, uh, this site. Um, and then I put the information in here and I just went ahead and let's see here. You cannot do control V. There's an import button over on the right here. So let's say that I want this to be my YouTube banner. I'm going to select it, upload it, click it. Then it gets into here and I say, I want it to take up, oh, this much space. Then make sure that it's centered. So you see a little dotted line down the center and a solid line across across the uh, horizontal axis, right in the center of it. Leave it there, then click save. And you're going to need to make an account. It's not a big deal. Uh, they don't ask for any money or anything. And there you go. And you can even do a preview, bottom right here, to see what it's going to look like on YouTube. So I think that's awesome. Uh, so let's see here. Here's what it looks like on laptop screen or a desktop screen. Here's what it would look like on your phone. So that's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and close out of these extra things that you don't need to see. So there's that. Once again, this is a sound test. So I'm gonna go back to this video right before I post it. Check how 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 uh, how well it is recording the sound. Something else I want to do is this program does not do internal sound. You have to upgrade to do that, and that costs money. But that's fine because hey, this computer has speakers. So if the computer plays off its speakers and it's uh, legible, legible, hearable, legible. If if you can hear it, <laughs> then that means that I don't need to upgrade, or maybe get sound from my phone and plug it in on my speakers behind me. So that's good. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and go to YouTube. I'm going to look up some Led Zeppelin. Did I just type an A in there? Led Zeppelin 69. Oh yeah. So what's going to be really funny is if you guys can't hear that and you can only hear me. What I just said, if you can hear it, <laughs> is that if you can't hear it, then you're just going to see me like, 
rocking out in the chair over here. All right. So that was uh, that's the sound test. We're at about 10 minutes. Let's make this your little digestible bite for the day. Um, well, I'll show you one more thing. I did download an image. Uh, actually, I'll show you where it is. So on Google, just go ahead and do like, share, comment, subscribe. Type that in. Go to images. Then, let's see here. I think this one should be a, a GIF, a GIF, maybe, maybe not. One of these will be. <laughs> let's type in good GIF. There we go. This one right here. You're going to see this at the end of the video. It's pretty cool. I think you will if I can figure out how to do that. If not, and maybe that'll be a video for another day. Thank you so much. Make sure that you like, leave some comments, subscribe, or don't like, or dislike, whatever. It's all up to you. Um, thank you for tuning in. And I promise my presentation skills will go up as I, uh, <laughs> as I do these. But um, yeah, it's just kind of spontaneous uh, every time I'm going to do this. I'll tell you some of the upcoming uh, videos are going to be um, how to formulate recipes because I used to be a chef and I really like cooking and on my other show my other channel I can do that uh, you can uh, you can see some some recipes on there but I'll show you how to formulate recipes even if you're not great at cooking um, some other upcoming videos are going to be uh, financial advice um, investing advice and advice on who else to watch that is way better at financial advice than even I than than I am. Um, and then there will be some some very vlog like things. You'll see things about my life. So maybe it'll be me finally getting to this room. Look at all this junk. This is just like a place where we store stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to turn this room more into a uh, an office. And I'm excited about that. I mean, we already have two desks in here in a bookcase, so yeah, we'll make that we'll make that happen. You guys have a wonderful day, and God bless.